Um, sir? Uh, sir? Um, I, I need you to have a look at this real quick. Thanks, Steve. My God. <laughs> Why'd you bother bringing me in anyway? Because, because you're the best of the best. Besides, the lab hasn't been the same without you. I told you. I'm out of the game. I got a wife and kids now. And I'm not about to throw that all for your, all away for your little algorithms and equations. I knew this was a waste of time. Wait, do you remember your flat earth theorem? Yeah, I remember it. The committee trashed it and said it was nuts. Well, they were wrong. I was wrong. The earth really is flat. So what? You bring me here after many, who knows how many years, and you tell me I was right? No, I brought you here to ask for your help. All right, what do we got? Asteroid, 20 moles, headed for the edge of the Earth, Australia. 20 moles? What do you need me for then? That thing won't even be able to knock over the space needle. Well, we've got a problem. The Earth is more flat than we thought. If that asteroid hits, it's going to spill out the ocean's water. How much time do we got? Less than a week. You can see why we brought you in now. You're the only one with the knowledge to stop that asteroid. Henry Howard, the fate of the universe is in your hands. If I do this, I'm gonna need some time to train. I understand. Master will be with you shortly. Oh, Henry Howard, please take a seat. Yes, Master. What brings you here, my child? I don't have much time, Master. I, I need to save the world, and I don't know how. You seem to believe you can calm an ocean with a mind full of waves. Hmm. Well, how do I calm the ocean of my mind, Master? You must look deeper into the root of your pain. Who are you? <laughs> I don't even know who you are. Of course you do! I'm your embarrassment and shame! And for all these years, I've been holding you back! And for all this time, you think you can get rid of me? I don't think so! Ah! Master! What do I do? You must fight the waves, my child.
I do? But know this, your kind will never get rid of mine. And one day, you'll slip up, and all your shame and embarrassment will come back around. <laughs> Wait. Round. That's it! I'm sorry, Master. I've got to go save the world. Do you know how to stop the asteroid? It's not about stopping the asteroid, but making the Earth stronger. How are you gonna do that? If I can flip the polarities of the electromagnetic poles at the edges of the Earth, they will be drawn to, to one another, transcending the second dimensions of the Earth. But that will make the Earth round. Exactly. But your flat Earth theorem, you'll lose all of your lifelong work. Yeah, but I'll lose my wife and kids if I don't. What's happening? You saved the world. Yeah. I guess I did. So, what do you want to do for lunch? I was thinking... FLATBREAD! Shame. <laughs> After all these years, you think you can get rid of me? I don't think 